everybody! I'm back with another video tutorial, and today I'm going to be drawing the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. And, I don't know, I felt like drawing something really mad, so it's a really mad pose. It's actually a pretty beast all on its own. This was requested by Shazilla. So, to start out, I don't even know where to begin with this. I'm going to sketch the general shape. So right here, I'll start doing the outline right away. You want it to be jagged because it's kind of animated, because it's drawn on the computer. Here's the slope of the head, and his nose right here. Because he's growling at Belle, his nose is kind of pushed up a little. Then the upper lip there, and we'll leave that open for the teeth. The bottom lip curls around like this, and connects in a very comical way to the top there. Then the lip is kind of like this double wave here, like a stretched out M. Then on the bottom we're going to have that same spikiness on his beard, I guess it could be called. Then to do the rest of his head, go over like this and down. The horns go like that. You want the back of the head to, the horns to be visible in front, but also have the slope of the head here. And then the other horn is mostly hidden by the back side of the head. Now this goes over here and slopes out for the eye. His eyebrows are really big, like overshadowing the eye. And over here, they stick off of the head. Then the eyes are connected to the eyebrows, hidden with the small pupil down in the bottom here. In the hair, there's three distinct colors. There's a dark brown, a light, a lighter brown, and an almost white. This is a dark brown right here, which I'll show when we color it. And each section of the hair you just want to bring down using that pointy to show the hair. Now to do the teeth, I'm erasing this again. It's just a tooth and then random points and then another big tooth and then like big diamonds right here. And you can kind of see the gum sticking up, which we'll color in. And then his upper teeth, it's just a line down. Then you want to make a little bit of diamond shape up here and color that in for the gums. Add a couple more details up by the nose here. A couple of dots for whiskers. Then we'll bring that back up a little more. Then he has his cape wrapped around here, so draw that cape, and then the arm, just two lines on there, two lines on the bottom. Just draw some zigzaggy lines here, maybe some here, and another zigzag line if you want to go up, show some more hair. Fix that. Just a little. Now we're going to go on to Belle. Because he's yelling at Belle, 
she's right here. Got the slope of her forehead, her nose, chin. Then swoop down with her brown hair, just like that. She's got kind of like bangs go into this part right here. And then the slope of her head would go like that. That continues out. We got her shoulders here. And she wears that blue and white dress. Her shoulders there. The front of her body here. And her hair completely covers her neck. And she's got her mouth down turned into a frown. Her eyes are open, looking up. And to make her look mad, slope the eyebrows down. And open a little. You've got Belle. Now, we're going to color. The only colors you need are a dark brown, a medium dark brown, and a lighter brown for the beast, a white, a light blue, and a peachy color for Belle. To color the beast, find the darkest areas, this one right here, and just color those in. Then go in with the next darkest. to make it a little more realistic. So I'm taking this brown color and putting it in where the light color is going to go for shading to create that shadowed effect because the more shadows, the scarier this guy is going to look. Now we want him super scary. Then take the lightest color and go over the top. Kind of just play around with the color because it's not necessarily going to look any different if you use different shades. Now I'm going to do Belle. Belle's hair is this creamy brown color. We're getting the more storybook version, like something that would be drawn in a kid's book. If you wanted the more movie version, you would outline the outside of the body and each specific feature with pen or marker of some sort. But because I want it to look more like the storybook version, I'm keeping it And here it is. Here's the finished artwork of Beauty and the Beast. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I would love a thumbs up. And if you could send some suggestions, that'd be awesome. So thank you so much for watching. Here's Beauty and the Beast. Till as old as time. Thank you.